Born April 2, 2002 in Aarhus, Denmark, Mona's roots are a mix of many. Her Ethiopian Somali mother immigrated to Europe when she was pregnant with her older brother. And that's where she met Mona's father, who was of Turkish descent. At the age of nine, Mona's world was turned upside down when her mother passed away. Her father was left to raise her and her older sister by himself. Life is something that can get taken away. You have to live it fully and do whatever makes you happy. A set of triplicate years began the trajectory of Mona's career. So at 12 years old, three years after her mother's passing, she scouted in her hometown, but she didn't feel like she was ready. At 15, not only is she scouted again, she enters Denmark's elite model look, which she wins. My name is Cindy Crawford, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. My name is Stephanie Seymour and I come from San Diego, California. My name is Mona and I am a representing Denmark. I feel so excited. I have never thought that I was gonna be here like, you know, because I'm coming from a small town in a small land, country, and this is really big, you know, it's a big deal. I want to be a top model. I'm an elite girl. At the beginning, she did a lot of local work, a lot of Danish magazines, before casting took her to Italy. In 2019, a 17-year-old Mona booked an exclusive contract with Prada. Ashley Brokaw, casting director at Prada, said, I see girls like her once every five years if I'm lucky. When you take that first step onto the runway, everything goes dark, and it's magical. So if you haven't seen my evolution of a runway model video, I'll put it somewhere here. Um, I discuss how a breakout season is very important for a model. Mona's breakout was nothing short of extraordinary. She booked the Loewe campaign in her first season. And then 2020 happened. The fashion industry shut down, and models were left to find stuff to do, keep themselves busy. The pandemic gave her time to pour herself into her art and learn Somali, which is her late mother's tongue. 2020 was also a year where she discovered her sexuality. I never really started fancying girls until I started working, and then I fell in love with one. Being in the LGBTQ plus community feels very normalized. So allegedly she's talking about Selena Forrest, the top American black model. But you didn't hear that from me and I didn't say it, so if it's not true, miss me. Okay. She never had a formal coming out moment, and she was fearful because of her Muslim and Christian background. Instead, she brought her girlfriend home. So what happened was, her dad noticed the body language between the both of them, and all he said was, I hope you're happy. And she said she was. In 2021, she racked up major credits, including a British Vogue cover and multiple campaigns. The following year, a cover she booked meant more to her than any of them before. The August 2022 issue of French Vogue showed her and fellow Somali model Uthbad Abdi embracing. I cried a lot when the magazine came out. I wanted to be for our people, Muslims, people of color. In 2023, Mona showed no signs of slowing down, booking Ferragamo and Alberta Ferretti campaigns. Over time, she's developed a personal style that includes cargo pants and graphic tees. What's up? <laughs> Love it. Mona, I'm a model. I'm wearing Sakai, this is a vintage, Ghani, and JW, and this is Chanel, a store. Thing is this? Henry, Danish. Hey, you have also socks. Which oh, socks? yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I'm in such a mood today. And how would you describe your style? Just relaxed. I like to be comfortable at all times. That's what really matters to me, being comfortable. But so many of her jobs include dresses, and she hates them. Or she hated them. Five years ago, I wouldn't have been able to go out of the house in one without feeling like a total idiot. Her self-discovery and acceptance of her identity are reflected in how she dresses and expresses herself. I've gotten to see myself in dresses and to allow myself to be feminine. Her journey shaped not only how she moves, but how she would advise others to move as well. You shouldn't look up to anyone. You should just do your thing, be you, and make sure you're different.